reflexes. And um, if this is the esophagus, you have a bolus. Now the pathway goes. You have a bolus that causes stretching. It causes stretching of the wall, and once it causes stretching, it is going to activate the stretch receptors. So these stretch receptors, receptors, sorry, will send an impulse. So these are the afferents. They'll send an impulse to the myenteric plexus. So what we have here, just to introduce you to the diagram, is we have a bolus. Here we have the submucosal plexus. And there we have the uh, we have the secular muscle. And here we have the myenteric plexus, and there we have the longitudinal muscle. Now we also have the same here, uh, we have the submucosal plexus, we have the secular muscle, myenteric plexus, and the longitudinal muscle. So what's happening on one side is happening on the other side. So once the afferent, afferent impulse has been set in motion due to the stretch receptors being stimulated by stretch, we have afferent neurons going and synapsing in the myenteric plexus. Now, in the myenteric plexus, we have interneurons within the plexus. Okay. Now, these we have two types. We have the excitatory type and we have the inhibitory type. So the excitatory type will synapse on other interneurons within the plexus, which will then release interneurons, so release neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters are excitatory on the secular muscle and also on the longitudinal muscle. So um, these include SCH. And we have several other neurotransmitters that have been noted. And thus, it will cause contraction. So the resulting effect is contraction. So you find that before the bolus, contraction is going to occur. Now, in front of the bolus on the abora side, we have some inhibitory neurons. Now, these inhibitory interneurons, um, they secrete inhibitory neurotransmitters that include nitric oxide, vessel VIP and uh, this is on both the longitudinal side and on the circular side and thus they cause relaxation so on this side you will not relaxation and therefore the bolus is going to move in this direction once the bolus moves in this direction this is going to cause stretch and the reflex will be repeated and uh, if we were to liken it to what is happening out here it's really the same distension occurs over here and we have the afferents that go and synapse in the myenteric and we have the excitatory portion this side and on the descending interneurons these are inhibitory so they're going to release um, NO and uh, VIP on both the, mus the muscles and on this other side before the bolus they're going to release SCH and that's cause contraction on this side and relaxation on this side. The bolus will move this way causing distension one more time 
and the reflex will continue and cause a peristaltic movement. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you very much.